Hello everyone, this is Nevergoin77 here, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Doomwad, starring Shadow of the Woo Ball. So, last we left off, we got ourselves started with the second episode of the mod, where we went on to the ali enemy alien cat spaceship, still in search of our girlfriend, and are now on to this level here, the Watch Out for the Watcher. Now, this level is very unique, and it has a very cool gimmick, as you can see here, with this new enemy called the Watcher. Now basically how the Watcher works is he just monitors this center area of the level here and if you were to spot us then he will release in a shit ton of enemies and I mean an absolute shit ton of enemies for us to fight so we're gonna have to watch out for him but we're gonna go along the sides here see if we can find some health pickups and very carefully do so because we have 10% health coming into this, so we're really gonna have to watch out. And uh, yeah, so carefully go on about things before we go into there and hopefully find some health for us. Otherwise, we're gonna be sort of shit out of luck. So yeah, Let's see what we can find over here. Oh, some more of these spider enemies to kill, or spider cat hybrids, or whatever you want to call them. As well as finding the green key door. Alright. Oh, I did see another way we could go through here. Yep, yeah, there's these wind tunnels. Hopefully, if we can get lucky, we can find some health pickups because we really need some health. Oh, yes, we really do. And as you can see, there's a very strong wind tunnel here. It's just pushing me all over the place, but uh, here we are now. Trying to push us into this crusher trap. Now, this crusher trap will kill you instantly. If it closes in on you, and yes, that includes the area in the middle, so you actually have to run all the way through to through the other side to avoid getting crushed here, which you should be able to do. And you've got a bit of a wind wind assist behind us with the wind trying to push us into here, but uh, here we go. Let's see if we just time this correct. Yes, there we go. All right, now we're into this room here. We've got some more of you guys to kill. We'll just hit this room. Uh, yep. Yeah. Activate that force field, and uh, I believe we should be able to make these enemies die from these crusher traps as well. So let's see if we can lure them in here and kill them off this way in an effort to save ammo. And yes, they do die to it. Excellent. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna get them all dying here, just like that. Very good. And yeah, dumbasses. Jeez. All right, now we got more of these, yeah, more of these barbed wire walls, which we do ha indeed have to keep watching out for because they will instantly kill you, even if you just lightly touch them. Like you don't have to come at them at full speed for them to do that. Yeah, so just another thing for us to watch out for. But uh, anyways, let's keep progressing forwards. And uh, oh god, what is this? Oh <laughs> no. Well, it appears that we have found our self-destruct sequence button over there, but it's only guarded by a room that's been absolutely filled to the brim with a shit ton of landmines. Oh yes, a lot of landmines. Let's see, and how we're gonna go about this. Uh, if we're quick enough, we might be able to yeah, trigger some of these and quickly run back, but we also gotta watch out for this door. It's gonna close in behind us and prevent us from, from doing that, so yeah. Gotta time it with the door too. Oh god. Oh shit. Yeah, this is very risky to do, but we're gonna have to do it. Okay. I'm going. Oh no, watch out. And yeah, go now. Yes. Okay, now if those mines don't go all the way to the end of the roof there, then we might be able to run all the way and then run all the way back here quickly. And yeah, I just gotta trigger this last one over here. Okay, I gotta be careful. The door's gonna try and screw us over in doing this. Alright, here we go. Oh shit, run! Oh no, no! <laughs> wow, that's a lot of explosions. Okay, but we're gonna hold off on hitting that switch for now, because we do need the green key. Just run over more of these, and oh shit! Yeah, just 
just can't, can't afford to take a single hit in this level, so this is going to be pretty difficult. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that we can, didn't come into 10% health on this, this level would be a fair bit easier, but we're not, so we're going to have to, we're just going to have to make it work. Alright, but here we're going to the main part of this level, is dealing with this watcher here, so we're just going to, we're just going to wait for him to finish... Uh, monitoring these segments of this room here and uh, yeah wait for it wait for it uh, go now it's gotta be sneaky about it watch out for you guys and see if there's any health for us back here well, we found the green key but no health still yeah really not good maybe behind here yeah, no, we're finding ammo, we're finding coffee, but no health. Of course. Well, that, uh, that kind of sucks, but uh, oh well, you know, life gives you lemons, I guess. You're just gonna have to make it work. But, not before ending this level here, I would like to show you guys the Watcher in action here. We're purposely gonna get ourselves spotted by him when he makes his, uh, way around here to look through here again and yeah be ready for one hell of a shit show because yeah oh god he saw us <laughs> oh, shit. he's releasing he's releasing them oh god and yeah that's a lot of them that's a lot of enemies that's a lot of enemies there's gonna be more that's gonna be on the right side over there there we gotta be there we're gonna have to be real quick about this Yeah, no, stay back. Yeah, we got some hit scan in these two. They're going to be very difficult to dodge. Well, let's just hope that we have enough ammo to make it out here. here. Finish them all off. Oh shit, that's a lot of them. I'm hearing a lot of those spider dudes as well. Okay, okay, one at a time. One at a time. Yeah, they're taking their sweet ass time making it over to me, thankfully. But there is a lot of them. Oh shit, there's a spider dude. No, stay back. No. No. Oh god, no, no, no. This is. Oh no, I'm out of ammo. Oh well, I, it's. Yeah, it's Joker. It's so Joker. I gotta kill this guy with my fist or just run him past him. There I go, we're going, we're running. We're running. Oh no. Oh shit. <laughs> yes. Yes! Oh, that was so close. Okay, we should be good now. We've got golden shotgun shells and rock health. Oh! Alright, well. Well, I will say that was a nice, tricky effort on the watcher's part to try and get me there, but thankfully, not good enough. Yes, we're still able to make it out alive, baby. Yes, we did it. Just save our, rescue our comrades here, get some more golden shells, pick up as much health as possible. And yeah, we even had some more barrels here, but we can see that the Watcher sort of just disappeared after spotting us. And yeah, it's uh, something that I always thought was really cool in this, in this mod here, is this, the one, this one level. And this is a, a, a unique thing to this level too. There, no other level in this entire mod has this. With there's a watcher peering out and, and monitoring the place as he did there. But yeah, definitely a very cool and interesting gimmick, if I do say so myself. And almost got me too, even with my my handicap that I started in uh, coming in on this level. So yeah, with that done, we can now go through the green key door. And yes, it'll give us access to the exit, but we're going to have to go through those... Uh, Mines again, yeah. Okay, careful not to trigger these mines. And if we are going to trigger them, just quickly run out of there, just like that. All right, here we go. Ten, nine, oh, run, run, run! Gotta get the hell out of here. Yes. Yes. All right. That's Excellent. So yeah, there you have it. I still need to watch out for the watcher level did finished. We got all the kills and we were able to get the watcher to spot us and kill this legion of cat uh, 
an army of cats. And yeah, with that being done, we go on to our final level of the episode. Of episode two, that is, the Captain. Oh yes, and your beloved puns uh, to enjoy as we make our way. But uh, yeah, we've already got some lackeys to kill, I see, as well as a nice change of scenery. We've got some big walls now, it's interesting, but it's okay. At least they're giving us some more ammo and, and weapons to work with this time, so I'm happy about that. And yeah, get some more health and stuff. We need all the health we can get. I think, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all that it's going to give us for now, so let's see what's our friend here has to say. I am about, just about to lose my patience. Prepare to meet Hawk. I may be a fat alcoholic, but his super speedy spinning chair makes up for that. Interesting. Well, it looks like we're going to be going up uh, against another boss here. Well, uh, as, uh, as it has, in case it hasn't been made apparent already, the captain. More of these walls here. And uh, yeah, just, give, just filling us up with some more ammo before we're ready to ourselves for the fights. Yes, that looks like the room over there that we're going to fight him in. We'll add the last bit of health and as well as ammo, and we should be good to go. Alright, here we go. Ah, oh, you must be horking. <laughs> just, just chugging down a beer. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, okay. Oh, that was uh, quite the introduction, if I say so myself. This is a. Uh, uh, sure is an alcoholic, alright, but yeah, there it's working for you. There is a fat ass cat that burps and drinks and farts. What's uh, what's working fast? Oh, I'm not to mention this uh, giant. Uh, apparently, but yeah. And uh, this boss fight is kind of simple. Got to stay moving, really, to avoid these projectiles. Okay, this should be good. Of course, don't get pulled close either. But, uh, yeah, just, uh, just got to keep sort of just shooting at him with our super shotgun, or regular shotgun. But we do have a few shotgun on the shotgun. Just hits on the end with that. And, oh shit, not a lot of hits on us. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. That's fine. Let's try to get right here. And oh yeah, I forgot this feature will cut you up pretty badly if you ram something. This is another thing you gotta watch out for. Oh yeah, I gotta get his ass this time. Shoot him with the super shotgun. Keep going this dude, I mean Ah, uh, whatever. Hitting our target. Also love the, the random assortment of of beer bottles just scrolling up over there. It really does add a bit of extra flair to this room. Yes. Just gotta stay focused. Gotta get this guy. Hopefully we'll have enough ammo to finish. Come on, come on. Trying to ram us and then blow us up with this rocket launcher thing. So we've got a few shots left. Come on! Yes! Yes! That's Horkin defeated! Yeah! Let's yeah. kill the uh, lackeys that he has here and we should be off. Alright, so that's him defeated. Yep. And just gonna hit the shutdown sequence and we're good to go. Hey. Shit. We don't run into any more enemies on our way out. Oh shit, no, there we go. <laughs> yes, we did it! That's episode 2 done. And escaped from the spaceship. Yeah, that's just... So yeah, that was the captain for you. Pretty funny boss fight, if I do say so, say so myself. A giant fat alcoholic cat shooting 
rockets at you. Yes, no, and this is mini chair too, of course. But yeah, with that being done, let's go ahead and see what the uh, thing has to say before we end it off. The next level, the Fur of the Dark. The almost completely destroyed Kitty spaceship starts to head towards the foreboding looking home planet of the cats. You soon realize that the only way to find your girlfriend is by landing down there. Is by landing down there. Without a second thought, you pack your guns and get ready for the final part of your journey. Yes, and that's pretty much ends the second episode of the playthrough. So we'll go ahead and continue this in the next video. Yes, we'll finish it off in the final and third episodes. So with that being said, thank you so much everyone for watching. If you like the video as well as the other ones that I upload over here, then don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I upload videos almost every day. So be sure to hit that bell and get those juicy notifications. And be sure to stay tuned for next time for some more Let's Play Shadow of the Wobble. So finally, this is Nevergoing77 signing off. And as always... Take care, everyone. Goodbye.